body language scenario. Yes. Here we are, face yes. to face. One of these old things. So have you read those books about how to interpret body language and what it means when people make certain gestures, you know, open, closed. If I scratch my nose, it means I'm thinking about football. I'm not sure. Oh, well, I, I haven't read those books, but I often think about body language. And when we moved um, during the pandemic to a lot of do our online stuff, people said, oh, we're not able to read the body language. There was stuff that we miss out. This is too difficult. And I think, no, not really. And I think, I feel it's a, a chance that we actually overthink this body language because you could start guessing what it means if, if people do this and you can have your thoughts about that but it might just actually be that it's a very comfortable position for that person to sit in right some people when they're concentrating look at you look as if then they're that classic i look like i'm thinking that but some people might like do that and you might think they're being grumpy but maybe they're thinking yes. my my thought is that if someone's body language feels unusual there might be something going on, but there might not be anything going on. And rather than jumping to conclusions about that, I might think about whether I should gently find a way to check if there is something going on. Yeah. And give the person the opportunity to actually say what's going on. And I'd quite like to acknowledge that it's okay for everyone not to look the same way and behave the same way in sessions. And that people do contribute in different ways. Exactly. And I think that I've experienced jumping to conclusions um, often and it, it doesn't really help, does it? Mm. So in, um, in, in a practical manner, I mean, don't do that. Don't jump to conclusions. If it seems important, find a way to actually investigate. I mean, it's, it, it comes from an instinctual place, body language. So I'd say listen to those instincts. Yes. But you can listen those instincts without needing to necessarily react the way that they might be done, which can be a little bit more mindful of it. Good.